All right, today we're gonna connect wireless controllers to the NVIDIA Shields and map them to the different apps. So start by going to the top right, settings, down to remotes and accessories. And then we're gonna add Bluetooth accessories. Put your controller in pairing mode, button on the top or the bottom, hold it down, little lights will start rolling. And we are looking for the SN30 Pro on this list. And there it is, pairing it up. A little pop up here. Hit pair. Now we're going back to our apps. Start with RetroArc Plus. We're gonna go back to the main menu, to settings of course, and down to input. We're looking for input number one. Very simple stuff here. We are going to press the button and then hit the corresponding button on our controller. Now the only option you're gonna see on the controller being pressed is the button that you need to press for each option. I'm not gonna show you the me pressing each button to get to it. It gets confusing. Me pressing the down button, me pressing the A button, then me pressing the corresponding button. So the buttons you are seeing pressed are the buttons for each selection. It's pretty straightforward. The selection in RetroArch is highlighted. I like to follow the highlighted selection no matter if my controller reads A at the bottom or A at the right. So we're just gonna follow these highlights here all the way down. All right, and we've got everything mapped here. We're gonna save the controller profile. Very important to do that. And we're gonna go up to hotkeys. Hotkey enable, we're gonna hit the select button here. Menu toggle, we're gonna choose L3 and R3. Those are the clicking in of the left and right thumbsticks. And then the save state, we're gonna do left button and the load state, right button. And then it's very important that you go to quit retro arc like I did there and choose that. That'll save your hotkey settings. You can always go back and change those guys. So we're over in Dolphin now. We are changing the input for the GameCube controller. Number one. And you're just pressing the corresponding buttons just like before. We're showing them at the bottom. These are the ones that we choose. You can swap the A and B button like it does originally. It's just whatever feels good for you. If your controller has a rumble, you can go ahead and select it there. Press any button and it should rumble your controller and use it. If it doesn't have a rumble, it'll just tell you right there. So no harm, no foul. So we're moving on over to the PSX app. Preferences, input preferences, player one, standard stuff. We are going down and pressing each button. This one, you can make the thumbstick the left thumbstick, which we're making, uh, the where it says it wants you to use the D-pad, it's saying that I'm pressing the D-pad, I'm not pressing the D-pad here. Uh, that's your personal preference. I like to use the thumbstick to move char the character around, so if you want to use the D-pad, welcome to use it.
We are done with all the buttons here. We're going to press B. It will auto detect your controller. So you didn't have to choose that. The select gamepad. See how there's an input there. It says the SN30. Just press B a few times and it will say preferences saved. Then you're on to the next one. The MAME will automatically choose, so we don't need to do that. So will the SNES 9X, your controls. So we're over to the Yaba Sanshiro. Any of these apps that we're skipping over is not because we're not covering them. It automatically pulls your inputs. These are just the ones that you're going to need to map yourself. This one you're going to need to choose a device beforehand, and you're going to need another controller plugged in. So we're pressing all the buttons. Regular D-pad stuff, the triggers, these are binded. The controller isn't laid out like a Saturn controller would be. So we're binding the D-pad first, then the analog stick, and then we're gonna skip these using an extra controller, and then we're binding the menu to the select key. So this is again, all personal preference. This is just where we've binded the stuff. Uh, the analog stick allows you to use the thumbstick and the D-pad with it. And that's it. That's all the apps you're going to need to map for. The rest will automatically.